This is the North Carolina Zoo's red wolf habitat, home to two members of the most endangered species of canids, or members of the dog family, in North America. Its numbers reduce by loss of habitat to expanding human populations and relentless hunting by agricultural interests, the red wolf was all but extinct in the wild until a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service recovery program was developed in the 1970s that involved captive breeding in zoos. Will Waddell, red wolf coordinator for the Point Defiance Zoo in Tacoma, Washington, and head of the National Red Wolf Species Survival Program, tells us about the recovery effort and the North Carolina Zoo's role in that program. Red wolves historically ranged throughout uh, much of the eastern part of the United States. By about the 1970s, scientists discovered that they were, were having some real, uh, real problems, that there were um, programs designed to, to trap and shoot and kill red wolves, and, and that combined with loss of habitat really diminished their numbers. As their population got smaller and smaller, red wolves could not find other red wolves to breed with and began breeding with wild dogs and coyote. In fact, in 1980, red wolves were considered extinct in the wild. So a captive breeding program was started to help rebuild the population to the point that they could be reintroduced into the wild. Uh, the recovery program in North Carolina has been a model for uh, recovery programs. Because this zoo is in the state where wolves are being released, is important because it gives the, the folks who live in North Carolina an opportunity to travel to the zoo and take a look at the wolves and learn about wolves. By combining the efforts of wildlife agencies, zoos, and other conservation organizations, the red wolf is slowly making a comeback right here in North Carolina. And perhaps someday, the successful reintroduction of this important predator can serve as a success story for other endangered species as well. I'm Rod Hackney, reporting for the Zoo Files.